So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the nine steps to better sleep. So before I go into the steps, let me just tell you the importance of sleeping and testosterone. So in one study, they've shown that men who sleep eight hours per night, uninterrupted sleep like good quality, had double amount of testosterone to men who sleep only four hours. So that just proves how important testosterone actually is. Another thing is testosterone is produced in the testicles and the adrenal glands, right? And this happens when you're sleeping in the REM cycles. So for you to have more testosterone, you need the more deeper, good quality sleep. It's not about how long you sleep. It's about how good the quality of the sleep actually is. So it's good, restful sleep. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over the nine steps. You can just do that yourself. Okay, what's up? Alex here from Natural Testosterone, where I teach you a simple plan to optimize your natural testosterone with realistic approaches that you can follow. The so number one would be sleeping in complete darkness to resemble like outside when you're sleeping out when it's dark, right? Because in today's world, at night we're on our phones, there's LED lights everywhere and anything that stimulates your brain your, will stop the secretion of melatonin. Melatonin is a sleeping hormones, hormone and a hormone is a chemical messenger. So I'm thinking about it this way. When you have a light switch at night, this stimulates like activates your brain and stops you from producing that chemical that's gonna tell you to go to sleep. So you need to get rid of any LED lights. You can do this by wearing like a headband or having complete dark curtains in your room. So that's step number one. So number two, closing all mobile networks because they can disrupt like your natural circadian rhythm and basically disrupt your sleep. So not having your phone beside your head when you're sleeping, turning off all the Wi-Fi in the house if you can will benefit you a lot. And then number three, implementing some exercise during the day because research set, like proves that implementing some exercise into your life during the day will dramatically improve your sleep quality. So think about it this way. When you train during the day, your body is gonna wanna like recover, go to sleep. So it's gonna be easier for you to fall asleep. Then number four, limit your caffeine consumption during the day. So if you're a coffee drinker, I personally recommend you stick to one to two cups per day and make sure when you do consume the coffee, don't consume it eight hours within your sleeping window. So if you go to sleep at 10 p.m., last coffee should be at one or two. Then number five, sleeping in a cold room because this will mimic the outside environment that we are used to sleeping in. I personally sleep naked, so it lets my like balls breathe, you know, because you need that, because your testicles have to be like a slight, a slight, slightly colder than your actual like body temperature. That's the reason why they hang in a sack. They stay away from you because they can't be too warm. So sleeping in a cold environment will benefit your testosterone positively. Okay, so I put these glasses on just to prove this point. So number six is don't watch any electronics like blue lights getting into your eyes when you're sleeping because when you're looking at like your phone, television, your laptop, they produce like a blue light, which basically stimulates your brain and prevents you from producing melatonin. So wearing blue light blocking glasses just like these or putting a blue light filter on your phone will benefit you positively. Then number seven, supplementing with ashwagandha. So ashwagandha is a adaptogenic herb which brings your body to homeostasis, which means balance in times of stress. So taking about 400 milligrams of ashwagandha 30 minutes before you go to sleep with some type of carbohydrate will benefit your sleep positive. And that ties in with number eight, consuming some carbo carbohydrates before you go to sleep because carbohydrates basically lower your stress. So consuming some simple carbs 
will initially spike up your energy but then drop down and ha you'll have an easier time to fall asleep if you're an individual that has a difficult time with sleeping and you tend to wake up in the middle of the night because of nightmares having some salt organic milk and honey beside your bed consuming that when you wake up in the middle of the night the electrolytes the calcium and the good sugars like the carbohydrates will put you back to sleep and lower the stress and then number nine that i recommend everyone should be having is a bedtime routine so initially it you won't notice the difference but once you stick with it you'll notice the difference so for example create a routine for yourself that you do every every night like brush your teeth wash your face do some um needle rolling take your supplements do some meditation and do that every night after like 21 days your body should like adapt to it and will know that when you complete these tasks specifically in that order it's it knows it's time to go to sleep so it will benefit you that way so these were my nine steps to improve your sleep if you like the video give it a like and let me know any other suggestion for any other videos I should make. So thank you for watching and see you in the next vid. Peace.